This week, we're gonna talk about key performance indicators. What's up, fish fans? My name is Marcus, and you're watching Marketing Madness, the Bluefish vlog. Now, if you know me, you know that I am not a math kind of person. We were recently at a college campus and they were talking about the math lab and that if you needed tutoring, you could just walk up for anything up to Calculus 3. But if you needed assistance with anything higher than Calculus 3, you had to make an appointment. And I found myself scratching my head as I did not realize there was such a thing as Calculus 3. <laughs> but all that aside, as a business owner, we need to have some basic understanding of the financials of the business that we run. I'm currently in Emerging Leaders, and we have spent a better part of 40% of the class on financials. Many of you might be familiar with a profit and loss statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. And if you aren't, then I highly recommend this book for you. It's called Managing by the Numbers. This is the book that we've actually used in that class. And it'll help you come up to speed on some of the concepts and why you should be checking these on a regular basis. But beyond the big three, there is a need for business owners to define key performance indicators, or KPIs for short, and track them on a regular basis. Um, some of these might be found in QuickBooks, some might be found in outside systems, and some might be manual and require you to crunch numbers. For instance, here at Bluefish, we're tracking 10 or so items. Everything from the number of monthly subscription websites we currently have, to our retained earnings, sales forecasting, cash on hand, employee utilization, and more. For our marketing, we also track downloads of our podcast, which by the way, if you're not listening, then shame on you. Open up Spotify or the podcast app of your choice and search for Mobile Alabama Business Podcast and catch up. There are only 100 or so episodes at the time of this recording. So we track downloads of our podcast, we track traffic on our website, we track the number of people that like our pages, and we track the number of plays our videos get, and we even track how long people watch into the video. Yes, you keep watching. Never before has there been so many points of data available so easily for business owners. One of the reasons why we believe in digital marketing so much is that you have concrete proof when something is working or not. And you can change portions of whatever it is that you are working with and see how that affects the performance. So take a moment to jot down four to five key performance indicators that you want to track over time. Commit to checking your profit and loss, balance sheet, and cash flow at least once a month and start putting some formality to your business. Tracking this stuff will start to show you when things are good and when they might not be so good. And it will enable you to make more informed decisions instead of getting yourself into trouble by flying by the seat of your pants. And I'd also just like to point out that there is no shortage of books on this topic. So for us, there are at least three books. There's the Managing by Numbers that I mentioned before. There's the um, Managing the Professional Service uh, Firm that uh, we've mentioned in a previous uh, vlog. And then there's the digital dollars and cents. Um, these two are more specific to um, professional services firms, whereas the managing by the numbers actually covers your typical business that may have some inventory. Well, that's a wrap for this week. I wanna thank you for checking in. And make sure to hit that like button because we're tracking it. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below because we're tracking those too. And if you want to talk about how Bluefish can help you grow your business, just send us a message and we'll get the conversation started.